uh, Nathan Flood from Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, what is this is is a, a replica of Saint Nazaire, France, in which a Type Seven U-boat, which is a cutaway, is uh, getting on supplies, getting some repairs. Uh, we have a Schnell boat on the far end that's uh, taking on torpedoes, and then it's pretty much just the the whole dry dock buildings with arc welders and all sorts of fun stuff. We'll start off with the uh, engine room on the Type 7. It's two manned diesel engines uh, with the rods that are uh, coming out of the top. And then here we have a common question is why there's chicken legs in the, the restroom. They actually had two restrooms on a Type 7. The one that was next to the galley was used to hold supplies. <laughs> so that's why we have the chicken legs. I was going to put bread in, but it covered up the, uh, the, the oh, toilet. Yeah. So we just went ahead and went away with that. And the control room is one of my favorites. It's a lot of fun putting in all the uh, the gadgets, the dials, the gears, and all that type of stuff. And the life lights actually will light up um, certain bricks where there's a it's some of the one by one gauges are thinner, and if you put a light behind them, they show through. So you can see it in the engine room on the electrical motors. You can see the oh the gears yeah yeah that's through. that's neat. And this we have you know the arc welder inside the machine shed. We actually have an arc welder inside of the floodgate. And the uh, this the whole thing is based on the St. Nazaire, like I said. And one of the, when the British attacked it, they actually wanted to go for the uh, floodgate to try to get into that maintenance hatch to put some C4. So that's why I decided to add that in there. Okay. Nice. Okay, that's... Yeah, there's a lot of highlights. It's a lot of fun, you know, the the boxcar unloading food provisions for the U-boat was an important aspect back then. So Yeah, I yeah, that's interesting. That. You kind of got the train going through there. Yeah. Uh, it's just kind of a ongoing expansion. It, this whole last three foot or so is brand new. The cranes are brand new. The Schnell boat added on the other end was a brand new thing. So. Well, that's very impressive. How long does it take you to build a display like this? Uh, I mean, how long have I been working on it? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've worked on this for about the last five years, maybe. <laughs> so maybe even six years. So it's, it's, I've had it for quite a while. I just keep expanding and making it bigger. Well, that's really neat. And you actually made like your own wooden box that you painted for it, right? Yes, I did. Uh, and that for the 505 as well, it's just, I have a Chrysler Pacifica. And I knew if I wanted to bring everything, I was going to have to stack it on top of of my boats and I couldn't stack them without you know crushing them so we put together some plywood boxes and painted them up to look cool. That's that's a neat feature you don't see that very often you gotta make fancy boxes to uh, move them in I like that. Yeah it was it was just a necessity and it just actually they came out looking really cool. The U505 which is on display at the Museum of Science and Industry here in Chicago um, it's a type 9 U-boat in which uh, well my batteries are wearing dead but the uh, has working dive planes, working uh, propellers, slow propellers right now. Uh, front dive planes work. I did have it so the uh, forward torpedo doors would open, but my sensor blew up. And it has a, a working, uh, raising and lowering attack periscope. It's a slow moving periscope. <laughs> I think my batteries are just about shot, so. That's very, very impressive. You don't, you don't see moving parts like that very often. That put up a periscope or something like that, I like that. It, it was, it just didn't look right just sitting there. I wanted to have some type of functionality to it, so I decided, well, the aspects that I wanted to have, and the dive planes, the periscope, the propellers, and the working torpedo doors, and I was able to get everything done. Is there an inside to this one, like on the other sub? No, it's hollow. Most of it just has my Mindstorm motors in it. But it is hollow. If I wanted to pull out the Mindstorm motors, I could add an interior. So that's that's very cool. So how, how long is this? It's a little bit over seven foot, I think. <laughs> 